Welcome back, Bitcoiners. I'm Drew, your host of Deciphered, a block stream show that delves into the best practices in Bitcoin by exploring the exciting features in our wallets, technologies, and products for enthusiasts of all skill levels. In today's episode, we'll be discussing the Lightning Network, what it is, its benefits, why you should run your own Lightning node, and then we'll dive into Core Lightning, also known as CLN, which is an implementation of Lightning. Finally, we'll wrap things up by setting up our own CLN node using Umbrel. So without further ado, let's get acquainted with the Lightning Network. The Lightning Network is a layer two solution that enables cheap and near instant Bitcoin transactions, helping to scale Bitcoin globally. You can think of the Bitcoin main chain like digital gold, that is the world's global reserve base layer with the Lightning Network as its payment layer for everyday transactions. Another layer two solution is the Liquid Network, it is also a part of this full stack and it is recognized as Bitcoin's financial layer where assets like digital securities and stablecoins can be issued and thrive. You may have heard of TPS, or transactions per second. And while it's true Bitcoin has a low TPS, with the Lightning Network, its TPS becomes the fastest of any payment competitor globally. This includes your favorite crypto tokens, your credit cards, your banks, and even at times, it takes to physically hand over cash to a friend. When connected to the right peers, the Lightning Network provides near instant Bitcoin settlements. The concept of the Lightning Network has been around since 2013, with the official white paper being released in 2015 and mainnet launching in January of 2018. Since then, four major Lightning implementations have emerged, CLN, LND, Eclair, and LDK. A Lightning implementation is a software program capable of operating a Lightning node and engaging with the Lightning network on the back end. Each implementation follows the Bolt or the Basis of Lightning technology specifications. This ensures compatibility and seamless interactions between nodes within the network. Representatives from these implementations meet regularly to discuss spec proposals and new features. As mentioned earlier, Lightning is regarded as a Layer 2 solution for the Bitcoin protocol focused on fast, global micropayments. Another way to understand this relationship is that Lightning depends on the Bitcoin network to function, whereas the Bitcoin network can operate independently of Lightning. Without Layer 1, Layer 2 cannot exist. You might be wondering how the Lightning network operates without a blockchain. It does this through payment channels, which are essentially multi-signature contracts between different peers on Lightning. Each user has their own node and establishes connections with other node operators. Within these nodes, Bitcoin is locked in a multi-sig wallet and once secured, a two-way payment channel is created. These payment channels are the primary building block of the Lightning Network and enable users to transact using Lightning Bitcoin across the network. If a Lightning user wants to send a payment to someone with whom they don't share a direct payment channel with, the Lightning Network routes this transaction trustlessly through intermediaries. For example, when Lightning user A wants to pay Lightning user Q, but they do not have a channel open directly with each other, the payment will be routed from user A through shared peers to create a path to user Q. Through routing, user A can send a payment to user Q with the assurance that the other users, the nodes, will forward the payment to Q. In exchange for his assistance, the routing channels will receive a small fee. Routing is what allows transactions between two unconnected peers to occur through a series of pre-existing channels. The Lightning Network offers many benefits, and there's just too many to list in this video, so let's just list some of the biggest ones. Scales Bitcoin Lightning is the ultimate scaling solution for Bitcoin because there is no blockchain involved but peer-to-peer -peer payment channels. With Lightning, millions of tiny micropayments can be aggregated off-chain per day to avoid bloating the main chain and then eventually broadcasted across the Bitcoin main chain for final settlement, leveraging Bitcoin security while also improving transaction throughput and helping Bitcoin to scale globally. Cheap Instant Micropayments The Lightning Network enables payments of less than one Satoshi. While one Satoshi is the smallest denomination of Bitcoin on the main chain, the Lightning Network's smallest unit is 1 millisatoshi, with 1,000 millisatoshis equaling 1 satoshi. Also, since the Lightning Network doesn't rely on miners, fees are minimal or even non-existent. When sending a transaction, fees depend on the transaction's route. If you're directly connected to a peer and want to send them some sats, you can set the fee to zero, assuming mutual trust. 
However, when sending to an unconnected individual, the Lightning Network will find the fastest route for the transaction. If nodes along the way charge fees, your overall fee might increase. Enhanced Privacy As mentioned earlier, the absence of a blockchain means transactions aren't stored on a publicly auditable ledger. If you have a private channel open with a peer and the channel is limited to the two users involved in the transaction, only you two will be aware of the transaction. No one else on the network will know it occurred. However, using a routing payment can start to de-anonymize your transaction. It's best to assume your transaction could be tracked and potentially traced back to you. We'll discuss steps to enhance privacy while using the Lightning Network in a later video. Great. Now that we understand the Lightning Network, let's explore why we might want to set up our own Lightning Node. A Lightning Node connects the Lightning Network to the main Bitcoin blockchain and facilitates connections to other Lightning Nodes to create payment channels. While Bitcoin Nodes verify every transaction on the blockchain, Lightning Nodes only verify transactions that directly interact with them. Here are three reasons to run your own Lightning Node. Maintain full custody of your Bitcoin. You might be familiar with the mantra, not your keys, not your Bitcoin. Well, this principle applies to the Lightning Network as well. If your Lightning Wallet is not connected to your own Lightning Node and you're using a custodial solution, the wallet provider could potentially go out of business or be nefarious and you could lose access to your SATs or they could potentially track your transactions and you will have lost your privacy. To avoid these risks, it's essential to set up your wallet to connect to your own personal Lightning Node. Earn SATs by routing payments. As mentioned earlier, if you are not directly connected to a peer, the Lightning Network routes the payment to deliver SATs to the designated recipient. When routing your payment, some node operators will charge a fee. By setting up a routing node, you can also charge a fee. However, keep in mind that if you set your fee too high, there's a good chance that no one will route through your node. Routing fees are highly competitive, so don't expect a get-rich-quick scheme. It's all market forces at play. Contribute to the Lightning Network and help Bitcoin scale globally. The more nodes operating on the network, the more channels can be opened with more potential liquidity, which can allow larger payments to be routed. This helps build financial infrastructure for emerging economies and strengthens the overall resilience of the network. Now that we've gained a solid understanding of the Lightning Network, it's time to delve deeper into a specific implementation called Core Lightning or CLN for short. CLN is a lightweight, highly customizable, and bold compliant implementation of the Lightning Network protocol. Primarily written in C and Rust, CLN made its debut in 2018 as the first Lightning implementation. Its main focus lies in customizability, enabling users to modify every aspect of their node either through writing custom code or installing plugins. A wide array of plugins are available for your CLN node. For instance, CLBoss is a plug-and-play solution that automates the fee management and operation of your CLN node. Another noteworthy plugin is Liquidity Ads. This lets users buy or sell liquidity to peers in a trustless manner. I've put a link in the description box down below that showcases the major plugins that are currently available on CLN. Recently, developers from the Blockstream team have created an app which is available directly when installing CLN on Umbrella. The CLN app allows you to send and receive Bitcoin, open and close Lightning channels, transact via the Lightning network, and route payments through it. With this in mind, let's navigate to our Umbrella server, install the CLN app, and open our first channel. Hi guys, Jesse here. Just want to run you through a couple of the things that you can do on the new Core Lightning on Umbrella app. First thing we're going to do is we're going to add some funds to our Bitcoin wallet. So we're going to copy the deposit address that Core Lightning on Umbrella gives us take it into Blockstream Green and compose a Bitcoin transaction. So we're going to paste in the deposit address, select send all, review the transaction and broadcast. So this is an on-chain transaction guys, so it's going to take 10 minutes to confirm. While we wait for that, let's have a look at some of the payment channel capabilities that we have on Core Lightning on Umbral. So as you can see on the right side there, we've got a little channel with bolts of 40,000 sats all of the information there. What we're going to do is we're going to open up a larger channel. We're going to head to onemil.com, search up bolts, and we're going to copy their node ID and IP address, 
Take that back to Core Lightning on Umbral and paste it in to open a 100,000 Satoshi channel. Again, this is an on-chain transaction, guys. So it's gonna take 10 minutes to confirm. As you can see, it's there pending all of the information. While we wait for that, guys, let's work on getting some inbound liquidity for our node. So we're gonna go to liquid.bolts.exchange and create an atomic swap. We're gonna to need to have a liquid receiving address so we can go into Blockstream Green, select receive and copy that liquid address and take it back to liquid.bolts.exchange and paste. Create the atomic swap. And we're now going to need to fund this atomic swap with our core lightning on Umbral lightning balance. So we can come in here, we've, we've copied the invoice, pasting and sending payment. And what you're gonna see momentarily guys is that we now have inbound liquidity on our core lightning on Umbral node. There you have it, 10,000 sats on the inbound side. So there you have it guys, a really simple way to get inbound liquidity on your core lightning on Umbral node. Thanks guys, see you next time. That's it for today folks. Let's quickly review everything we covered today during our deep dive on Lightning and CLN. We first learned about the history of the Lightning Network and how it's an off-chain scaling solution for Bitcoin that allows for cheap micropayments. We also learned that in order to connect with peers via a payment channel or route payments, you first need to set up your own Lightning node. The perks of running a node include self-custody, potential to earn some SATs via routing fees, and overall contribution to the network in helping to scale Bitcoin. After that, we discussed Core Lightning, a community-driven Lightning implementation focusing on specification compliance and performance. CLN is known for its lightweight memory footprint, allowing it to run on low-spec devices, and its modular approach to design, giving developers and users the freedom to create or use custom plugins to enhance functionality. Through these plugins, users can essentially become a full-blown Lightning expert without needing to know how to code or use command line. Then we finally wrapped it up by setting up our own CLN node on the Umbrel app. We went into Umbrel, installed Core Lightning, sent some sats to this newly created Lightning wallet, and set up our first channel on the Lightning network. If you have other questions related to the Lightning network or Core Lightning, feel free to reach out to us in the comment section down below or join the CLN community, which is also linked down below. We're always looking for new topics to cover. And as always, thank you for watching. Until next time, continue stacking those sats, and remember, don't trust, verify.